Tail of the tape now for James Kirkland against Glenn Tapia. And you see the six-year age advantage for young Tapia, also a two-inch height advantage. Kirkland, however, has an arm length advantage of one inch measured from the armpit to the end of the fist. They weighed in a couple of pounds over the 154-pound limit. Ultimately, the contract was settled at 156. And tonight, Kirkland comes in weighing 168 unofficially. 165 is the unofficial weight for Glenn Tapia. Everybody wants James, Kirk James Kirkland to be something he may never be. A singularly focused search-and-destroy warrior. Distractions out of the ring have held him back many times before. This time, Team Kirkland again says things are finally different. Oh, man. I feel like there's so much more that I could have accomplished. Damn, man. I, I could have had, you know, I could have fought with this amount of money. Oh, I could have beat that opponent. The thing that I really regret the most is leaving my former trainer, Ian Wolf, and taking my own route. It's like he left like a little boy and came back like a man. This time, he was focused. If I said run eight miles in cow shit, he ran eight miles in cow shit without saying or doing anything. But you got somebody focused, they ain't worried about the money, they ain't worried about who in the corner. They're worried about becoming a champion, not becoming a champion for a belt, becoming a champion to change who they are as a person. And that's when you got a dangerous James Kirkland. You know, I regret a lot of things, but at the end of the day, you know, uh, I'm here. I'm definitely energized and, and, and focused on, on, on the, the win. People are going to be standing, hollering, and screaming because it's going to be one of those type of fights. He was training with Robert Santos in Northern California. That was apparently the path he was planning to take. He says that Santos was doing a great job and doing a tremendous job of helping him to get into the right weight neighborhood. Then, with about five weeks to go before this fight, he switched gears, called Ann Wolf overnight, and said, I want to come to Austin. She said, you can come, but you've got to do it my way. And they've been back together ever since. When James Kirkland's not with Ann Wolf. He can be beaten by anybody. Look at the Ishida fight. Knocked down three times by a guy who can't punch. Stopped in the first round. When he's with Ann Wolf, he's like an unstoppable force of nature. And Ann seemed genuinely pleased with his preparation for this fight. And they're just the best story in boxing anyway. I mean, I could listen to Ann Wolf talk all day. Well, a woman trainer, that's unusual enough. A woman trainer with perhaps the most extreme conditioning methods of anybody in the sport. And one of the best female fighters of all time. So the Mandingo Warrior is in the room or in the ring. And now let's go to Glenn Tapia, born and raised in Passaic. Glenn Tapia's nickname is simply Jersey Boy. And tonight, fighting along the Atlantic City boardwalk in front of friends and family in a nationally televised bout. This is the realization of a long-held dream. Um, when I was young, my, my brother and um, kids from the neighborhood, they started boxing. I just started boxing because of them. At that time, when I was, when I was boxing, there was a lot, of, um, a lot of fighters, a lot of fighters from New Jersey. That was real good. Just seeing these guys have Atlantic City going crazy. It's something that, when I was young, I used to dream about, you know, just seeing all these fights and and, and, and wanting to be there. I crave that, you know, I want people to come out and see me like that. For this fight, finally, this is the first time I didn't deal with the tickets. I let, I let my brother handle it, and I let my own manager handle it, because they stress you out. So it's perfect, it's like, it's a dream. I'm about to fight Kirkland in a big fight. There's gonna be packed building in it, you know, with a lot of Jersey fans. He's got the style, he's got the hometown, he's got the background to be, if not a superstar competitively, a star in terms of audience attraction. Yeah, and he's got a, it, not only a charming way of fighting in an action kind of style, but of talking like he's always suppressing a smile, like he's self-conscious about the fact that the camera's on him and he likes it and, and you're in on a kind of a joke with him. Uh, and, but he, when he fights, it's no joke. You know, he's he can box, but he's the kind of personality that prefers to mix it up. And Andre Ward to get a shot at a guy like James Kirkland in a situation like this, all or nothing opportunity, right? Absolutely, and he understands that, and that's the good thing. He's not in here uh, just to be an opponent. 
He understands what Kirkland brings. He says he used to be a fan of James Kirkland. He can't be a fan tonight. He's got to take over if he wants to get his hand raised. James Kirkland is 31 and 1 with 27 knockouts, but his failings have been visible to the audience. Let's get, go to Lupe Contreras for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, we continue with the action here at Boardwalk Hall with this bout scheduled for a limit of 10 rounds in the junior middleweight division and being presented at a co-promotion by Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated and 50 Cent's SMS Promotion, sponsored by La Cerveza Tecate Con Caracter Nemeroff and our host, Caesars Atlantic City. The judges are Lynn Carter, Shafiq Rashada, and Alan Rubenstein. The referee, Steve Smoger. Presenting first, the fighter in the blue corner, Wearing black with white trim, his official weight, 155 pounds. After entering the ring 32 times as a professional, he maintains a record consisting of 31 victories against one lone defeat, 27 of those victories ending by way of KO. Fighting out of Austin, Texas, the Mandingo Warrior, James Kirkland. Across the ring in the red corner, wearing camouflage with silver trim, he weighed in at an official 156 pounds. And he enters the ring, an undefeated fighter with 20 professional victories. 12 of those victories coming by way of KO, representing Passaic, New Jersey. Jersey boy, Glenn. Gentlemen, I met with you in your respective dressing rooms. Please obey my commands, respect the bell, and above all, protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, touch. God bless you both. Thank you. Hurry up, text your friends, call your friends. James Kirkland's back with Ann Wolf, and he's fighting a guy that Ann Wolf Let's says see. he's just like us. And I mentioned everything else about Tapia. Did I Man. mention he's got the same manager as Arturo Gatti, Pat Lynch? All the elements are in place. Steve Smoger is the referee. That's another interesting element. We'll get to it in a second. Tapia wants to try to knock Kirkland out with a right hand in the first minute of the fight. He took his shot as soon as he walked out of the corner. That might have buzzed Kirkland a little bit. Tapia's uh, team made it clear that they want to test him early, like you just said, Jim. Took another big shot. He's got a grin on his face. This was the plan. Try to knock him out right away. Kirkland's been dropped a bunch of times in the first round. Uh, he basically starts cold. They had him wrapped up in a sweatshirt and a towel to literally keep him warm. See if it does anything. Tapia's this is her boxing early. match. Tapia just landed a solid left hook. Now he lands a right on the jaw. Kirkland hasn't gotten going yet. Tapia's hitting him and hitting him. Kirkland needs to get his hands up and stop pulling back with his hands down. He's getting hit with flush shots right now. And Tapia hasn't been able to floor him. Happy is giving Kirkland something to think about before he just rushes in. And now Kirkland's going to start to get going. What a first round. Glenn Tapia made good on what we thought he would try to do. Walked across the ring and started firing hard shots at James Kirkland. And he's still doing it. Kirkland's got a mouse on his left thigh. Push off, this guys. place would have erupted the head now, like a Roman Don't candle if Tapia had put Kirkland on the floor. He That's got a real big close, Jim. He got very close. Hits him again with the right hand. He is landing, but right hand flush over and over. There's still a lot of time in this first round. Minute get, and a half. You want to get Kirkland when he's cold early before he starts to really heat up. Now he's starting to warm up and let his hands go. It ain't too late. Text your friends. Call your friends. Body chops by Tapia. Now he goes to plan B. Lands the left hook upstairs. Here comes Kirkland. Uppercut. Uppercut. 
Left hand for Kirkland. Straight right hand by Tapia. Stops Kirkland in his tracks. More bombs. Both guys throwing bombs. Almost a minute still to go on the round. Tapia lands a right hand again. Kirkland's taking everything and handled it without going down. And Wolf said, we're going for broke. Somebody's getting knocked out. That's what she told him. That looks abundantly clear from here. And Kirkland has been down a bunch of times, but even when he got stopped, he always gets up. Body shots by Kirkland. Landing. Landing. Now Tapia has to cover up. He's just missing that overhand left, Kirkland. But he's landing the body shots. Gets in an uppercut. Tapia has stopped throwing as the round comes to a close. It was all Glenn Tapia for the first two minutes. It was all Kirkland for the last minute. What a round. Glenn Tapia's mom and dad love it. Mother Josephine, dad Jose. Again, deep breath. One more, give me a water. How you, how you feel, baby? Hey, you see all his shots, he's, he's gone. He's down already, you understand me? Come on, me? breathe, breathe, son. All right? Come on, breathe. Come on. Hey, go ahead, go stay fast. Out there. Stay breathe, quick, son. OK? You got to go in there with a the jab. Don't just stand in front of him. OK. You hear me? I got you. Take a deep breath. Deep time, nigga. Keep your hands up. Just chill out, Kirk. Keep moving your hands. Keep your hands up. up. We got to do that whole round. Okay. Give me the bucket. Give me the bucket, Kirk. Spit in there, James. You in shape. You ready? Copy box numbers from round one. Tapia 32 out of 82. Kirkland 23 out of 73. I don't think there were more than a few jabs in there. They were mostly big shots. Round two begins. You heard Tapia's trainer Alex Vivia saying Great, he's almost coach. gone. Step out and step out. Hands up. That didn't up. appear to be the Hands case up. in the last step minute out. of the round. One step back. Towards one the end of the round, back. it looked like Tapia was <laughs> waiting for a, a pause in Kirkland's attack. But once Kirkland gets warmed up, there are no pauses. Now it's Tapia who's going to the body after Kirkland scored with the body punches down the stretch in round one. All great, right, very quickly, great. let's get in another step element out, of the drama. Out. Steve Weisfeld, tell us about the referee, Steve Smoger. Steve Smoger is an established referee who's worked in about 40 countries. Steve's well known for letting the fighters decide the outcome. He'll consult ringside physicians when necessary. Given Kirkland's history of being hurt and coming back, Jim, Steve seems to be an excellent referee for this fight. Well, I think it's more than that. If intelligent right, boxing fans were polled as to which referee they wanted to see referee in a fight like this, I don't think there's any question they would choose Smoker. These James. are two guys that Stay love up, to fight. Tapia is landing some vicious body shots, making an investment in case this fight goes into the middle of the late round. Push on, push on. And Wolf gave Kirkland the right instructions. Keep coming forward, but come behind your jab. And right now, he's still leaping in, and that's why he's getting caught with big shots. Tapia looks very composed. Hasn't wilted at all yet under Kirkland's pressure. That's it. But already the, the fight, the tenor of the fight's changed Stay a bit up, from the first round where Tapia tried to Kirk, catch Kirkland cold and seemed to hurt him. Now it's Tapia who looks bothered by Kirkland's left hand. Kirkland is a big puncher. He's a heavy puncher. You can hear those shots landing. Tapia can't be on the ropes giving up those kind of shots. Tapia wobbles into the ropes as Kirkland catches him with a straight shot. Now Tapia shaking his head at Kirkland as if to say, no, no, you didn't get me. That's not enough. He's got to get off those ropes if he's going to contend with this guy because Kirkland's going to keep coming. Send the judges home. Tapia this is on, not going to be a decision. On wobbly legs, throwing bombs right back. This is the kind of fight Kirkland likes, and this is the kind of fight Tapia said he wanted. He got what he asked for tonight. Shots by Tapia, a left and a right. Kirkland lands that overhand left, right on the chin. The stunt has gone out of Tapia's right hand. When he lands his right hand now, it's not nearly as thunderous as was the case in round one. Kirkland's got him trapped in the corner, and he's wailing away. Good left hook to the body by Kirkland seemed to hurt Tapia. Just a little bit. And he's coming back to the head, he's hurting Tapia. Good counter shot by Tapia, firing away to the body. 
He rallies at the end of the round. Another brilliant round. See Kirkland would tap you on the ropes where he shouldn't be. Land a beautiful sweeping overhand left, and here he lands it again. Another straight left that Buzz Tapia. Kirkland is coming on. And while you see that swollen left eye of James Kirkland, you probably also noticed the extremely capable Rudy Hernandez break, 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 in the corner with Ann Wolf break, and Kirkland. Break, He's a great break, cut break, man. Break, break, he can help to keep James in the fight. Power punches in round two. Kirkland, 49 of 103. Tapia, 24 of 72. Unless Tapia can really hurt Kirkland with something on the way inside. I don't see how he changes this fight. Kirkland's been imposing himself. He's taking his shots well, even though he is getting hurt, Max, like you said. And now Kirkland is going to the body and back to the head, and that can spell trouble. Well, Tapia has a warrior spirit. I mean, there's no two ways about it, but, but it, you know, Kirkland wins these kind of fights. This is a James Kirkland fight. Oh, big up. Good uppercut by Tapia. Now here he comes again. See if he can back Kirkland into the corner. Kirkland lands his left. Tapia's still throwing. Has Kirkland against the ropes. Both guys are wobbly. That's what Tapia needed to hurt Kirkland with something coming in. And he did hurt him, but he wobbled as well when Kirkland fired back. So far, it's the fight of the year. Unbelievable stuff from these two guys. Tapia, I think Tapia feels punched out right now. He doesn't seem to be able to throw. Kirkland lands an uppercut. I don't know if Tapia has ever been in a fight like this. This is James Kirkland territory. Kirkland coming in now with his hands down, though. Really exposing himself to counters. Kirkland went down in the first 30 seconds against Alfredo Angulo in Cancun. There was a thought, well, all right, he got knocked out by Ishida. He's gone now. He recovered in that round and came back to brutalize Angulo in the course of the next four rounds before the fight was stopped in his favor. This is a very similar enterprise so far. Minus the knockdowns, so far this looks like George Foreman and Ron Lyle or a fight like that. Just two big punchers giving it everything they have. This is what you call a war of attrition. Yeah, and it looks like the attrition has affected Glenn Tapia more. He doesn't seem to be able to throw anything with authority now as round three comes down the stretch and Kirkland is landing over and over and here comes Tapia again. What a fight. Vicious is strange from both What a hands. fight in Atlantic City. Get that second air, champ. Get that second air. Get your legs out. Get your legs out. Deep breath. 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 G, we're good, baby. You understand me? All right? Get those hands up. You understand me? When you're inside, when he's touching you, grab in and hold him. You know what I'm saying? Grab in and hold him. Get on abajo también. Get in and abajo. All right? You hear me? Deep breath. Body shot. Boom, 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 boom. And go to the body. Kill that body. You took his nuts, now you gotta take his heart. Yeah, take his whole soul away. It's that time, baby. The dingo. It's that time, and dingo. It's that back row where it pays off. All work paid off. Let's get this. This is a war of attrition. Big shot from both men. 
Nobody wants to budge. Another big shot from Tapia. Several big shots from Tapia and another big shot from Kirkland. And there's Glenn Tapia's family, father, mother, at ringside after they saw their son take 61 power shots from the fists of James Kirkland in the third round. And where a normal fighter, even a normal good tough action fighter, would start to accept their fate in a fight like this, Tapia continues to load up on big shots and go back at Kirkland just when it looks like he's about to get steamrolled. He buys Phil, how do you have it through three? I have Kirkland up by one point. A lot of punishment already in this fight. Kirkland takes punishment because he comes in straight with his head up, and Tapia is taking punishment because he's fighting James Kirkland. Kirkland's fights are pretty easy to score. Either he's in control or the other guy. He's in control in rounds two and three. That was the best line of your broadcasting career. Tapia takes punishment because he's fighting James Kirkland. That's it. Even though Tapia is still dangerous, and he's still looking for big shots right now. Kirkland has tightened up his defense just a little bit as he's warmed up. The, the, the thing is, Tappy is mostly missed with those big shots he's fired back at Kirkland with, but Kirkland still has his hands down. If one of those connect, it could change the fight, as it momentarily did a couple rounds ago. I don't, it's four rounds. It feels like it's already been 15. But I think he's a little bit more warmed up now, so he's taking his shots a little bit better. Good body shot by Kirkland. Again, it's the left uppercut. If you've just tuned in, this is Boxing After Dark in Atlantic City, New Jersey. The second of our three fights. James Kirkland with his back to you. Glenn Tapia with his back on the ropes. Tapia is the Jersey boy from here in New Jersey. Up the road in Passaic, 20-0 coming in. James Kirkland with his 31-1 record after another long layoff, one of several in his career, trying to come back under the tutelage of his spectacular trainer, Ann Wolf. And the first three rounds have been an all-out, unbelievable war. Those little uppercuts on the inside from Kirkland are really taking the fight out of Tapia now. Yeah. Tapia's taking punishment right now. The body language doesn't look good. He's got an iron chin because Kirkland is a good puncher but the body language doesn't well, look no good. No one has an that. iron body, and that's where Kirkland's really setting up those headshots. Kirkland's landing his power punches over and over. He landed 61 in the last round. You wonder how much punishment Tapia can take. You wonder how much punishment Steve Smoker is going to allow him to take in what has become, as Andre Ward very accurately said, a brutal war of attrition. Smoker's got to keep a good eye on, on Tapia. I know this is a big fight. He doesn't want to jump in too soon, but the kid is taking punishment right now, and he's not responding. Yeah, war of attrition don't normally happen between knockout punchers, because when they land this much, someone's on their back. But here, it is a war of attrition, and both guys are, especially Kirkland, throwing big knockout punches. Len Tappy is only 23 years old and may have a very bright future. You don't want him to get ruined in one night. I'm not going to let you take this punishment. You understand me? Deep breath. Water. No. You're going to hit way too much. You understand me? Deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. Give me ice right here. Give me ice right here. Give me ice right here. Deep breath, Deep breath, G. Open the mouth. Open the mouth, G. Okay. You put it in. Let's get it. Fuck that. This your destiny, nigga. You hear Let's me? Let's get it! Go kick this motherfucker! Get that motherfucker right now! And we see James Kirkland doing what James Kirkland does. Close the distance and land vicious short shots to the head of Glenn Tapia. Tapia's body language isn't looking good right now. The question is, will his corner even let him out for this round? He left, it may not be worth it, Mac. Move your feet. Move your feet. Gene, you gotta fight. Gene, listen to me. Listen to me, Gene. You gotta fight. Gene, listen to me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you take any more of them severe headshots, I gotta stop. Let's go, get him. That was a legitimate medical examination by the ring doctor in the corner. I marveled at the fact that Kirkland landed 61 power punches in the third round. He landed 73 of them now this, in the fourth round. This is a fighter. You see Tapia? He knows he gets caught with those shots again. The fight's over. It's made clear to him. So he loads up. It's beyond the point where he can box. He's basically spent, but he's going to try to knock Kirkland out 
here. He just hurt Kirkland. He hurt Kirkland again with a left hook. He gives the crowd a tremendous thrill with those two left hooks. Because this is a guy who didn't show up to lose, even if he's losing. He's going to give it his best shot. If this is his last hurrah. If he doesn't do it right here, it may spell trouble and this fight may be over. Just missed with the right cross. The left hook has been kind to him in this round. He landed it twice punch out, punch at out. the outset. Now Kirkland has him in the corner again. As happy as they're recognized, my back's on the ropes. That's where it's bad for me. Let me get off these ropes. It's not just the punches that Tapia feels, it's the physical strength. He can't get off the ropes because James pushes him back. Two good, good left hooks Tapia. by Tapia. There are no words for the kind of courage that Glenn Tapia is showing in there at this moment. He knows the situation that faces him, and he's trying to fight his way back into the fight. And because, as you said, Max, it's beyond boxing now. And as broadcaster and trainer Teddy Atlas says, you know, there's such a thing as a game loser. Tappy is, there's no, he's game, but there's no loser in him. He's still trying to win. That's right, no quit at all. He's taking shots, but these are not fully leveraged big shots of the kind that Kirkland was landing the last couple of rounds. Vicious body shot a few seconds ago from James Kirkland underneath another one oh, right there. Those body hard. shots are the things that have really done it in this fight, I think. Those short uppercuts to the gut. And then back to the head. You're absolutely right, man. Another one down low and a sweeping right hook from Kirkland to the head of Tapia. I love the heart from Tapia, but they got to keep a close eye on him right now. Taking a lot of punishment. Yep. Lands another left hook. And James is walking through his best shots right now. That's something Smoker has to take into account. Glenn Tappy is landing punches and they're having no particular effect on James Kirkland. Although earlier in the round, you heard Andre Ward say that he hurt him with a left hook. He threw a left hook that sent blood flying out of Kirkland's mouth. Kirkland is what you call in the zone right now. He's eating all the big shots. Even if he wobbles, he's in the zone. He can smell blood, and he's closing the uh, distance and, and right he's now. Giving, he's giving Tapia a frightful beating. You have to wonder what it's like for Glenn Tapia's parents to sit in the front row and watch their son eat this kind of leather from a hard puncher like James Kirkland. They can be proud of the courage, though. No shortage of that. But maybe we've seen enough now. There's no quitting Tapia. Maybe someone needs to quit for him. Deep breath, Chief. Chief, deep breath. Deep breath, Chief. Give me ice! Deep breath. Deep breath, Chief. Breathe, Chief. Go, go, squeeze this down here, baby. Chief, I need my second air, man. You hear me? Chief, I need my second air. Water. Water. Gene, gotta. Gotta work. Gotta work the arm, man. Open the eyes, G. Gene, open. Gene, he's just as tight as you. You man, he's tight. Shit, come on. Breathe, sir. Ben, explain to this doctor that you're good, baby. Come on, you're gonna go. You're gonna go right now. Tell him you're gonna stop this boy right now. Deep breath. Deep breath. You gotta breathe, baby. Breathe, baby. Come on, breathe. Come on, baby. This is not easy. That's easy. Come on, baby. This is your life now, baby. You gotta, you gotta get your second there. This is a sparring session, Steve. Steve, come on. Come on, deep air. Give me some hop. Show me some hop. Show me some hop. Let's go. He's gone five rounds of a scheduled 10. James Kirkman has landed 281 punches on Glenn Tapia. This is a dangerous and difficult fight to watch in Atlantic City. It's spectacular. It's brutal. It is damaging to both fighters, but especially, it would appear, to Glenn Tapia so far. Kirkland can smell it. He can sense it. The end is near. It's enough. I mean, I mean, the corner, the problem is the corner knows how tough their guy is, and they're being as tough as he is, but they need to protect him. It's more than enough to do it. Seconds away. His body seconds is away. That's enough. Steve Smoke That's is about enough. to reach in. Good, uh, and he he's going to stop it right too. there. At the moment when Kirkland landed a flush shot on the chin of Glenn Tapia, it's over. And Tapia's out on his feet right now. That was as James Kirkland as James Kirkland can get.
Got to keep an eye on Tapia now. He took two unnecessary, took a bunch of unnecessary shots from an overly brave corner that let him go out there and face Kirkland. Smoker tried to stop it, but Kirkland was still throwing punches, and those last two didn't look good to me, Andre. Yeah, those last, I think Tapia was out on his feet. He literally, Smoker had to hold him up, and he looked limp for a few seconds. He may have been knocked out on his feet, and you're right. They got to keep an eye on him right now. Tough young man. I hate that he had to lose. He has nothing to be ashamed of. James Kirkland was James Kirkland tonight. It was a moment last Saturday night when Tony Bellew was pinned in the corner against Adonis Stevenson, and a terrific referee named Michael Griffin was able to get between Stevenson and Bellew and prevent the last big shot from landing. I'm not sure Steve Smoker could have done anything to keep Glenn Tapia from eating that last straight left hand here, but of all the punches that Kirkland landed all night, the one that may be most damaging to Tapia's future was that shot. Now, we are here at a point where Smoker is looking in, looking in. Andre Ward, you take it from here. Kirk is landing heavy shots. See Smoker's looking in. And it's this shot right here and that shot right there, which I believe knocked Tapia out on his feet. And Smoker held him up. They got to watch this kid. He took a lot of shots. He gave a lot of shots to James Kirkland, but he took a lot of punishment. wonder if there was some way Smoker could have prevented the last shot. I think Smoker assumed that Kirkland would back up, but Kirk Kirkland, excuse me, Kirkland is in just, he's in beast mode, as you call it. He's in, he, he wants to finish this kid, so he threw that last shot, and that last shot was devastating. Let's go to Lupe Martinez, or excuse me, Contreras, for the particulars on the TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, an accumulation of blows obligates referee Steve Smoker to step in and halt this contest with an official time of 38 seconds of round number six. Your victor, by way of technical knockout, the Mandingo Warrior, James Kirkland. Final copy box numbers are going to show what Lupe Contreras very accurately referred to as the accumulation of punishment. In six rounds, James Kirkland lands more than 300 punches. 287 of them are power shots. He wounds up landing half of his power shots in the fight. Glenn Tapia came out and fought a brilliant first minute of the first round, seemed almost to have Kirkland in trouble, but then couldn't hold him off from that point forward. It was yet another relentless James Kirkland performance. Let's go to Max with the winner. Congratulations, James. A classic, good version of James Kirkland fight. Let's start in the beginning. He came out fast trying to catch you cold. Tell me what happened. Everybody comes with a game plan. Our game plan was to come at him too and put nothing but heart, body, money, and soul on him. You know, he ended up getting off first, which anything can happen in a fight. One punch can change a fight, you know, like at the first beginning of the fight. He caught me with some shots. I came back and redeemed myself, you know, showed myself and showed everybody, showed in the world and my city that heart, preparation, and true sacrifice will get you to, uh, to get you to the finish line. We've seen you now build this kind of momentum before when you're with Ann Wolf as your trainer. You're an unstoppable force of nature. Then you guys split, and you show up like a different guy. Come back together with Ann, the beast is back. Why does that keep happening? Because Ann Wolf has a certain type of training, training method than other trainers. And it's true, true, hard, hard work. People know, people understand hard, but they don't know hard, hard work. You know, and running eight miles every day for your whole training camp, you tell me someone's doing it. You know, not just that, the, the, the altitude. The, There's so much different stuff that's involved into, you know, my training camps and then with Ann Wolf uh, training style, I'm looking at my face on TV, it looks good. Nice and Are you saying, James, in effect, that in order to be this guy, you have to go through such hell in camp with Ann that you can't do that many times in a row? You have to... Does that mean that you're just gonna fight less often, stay with her and fight less often? Never, hell no. The, my, my, my whole mindset is, I'm with Ann. We're a team. We're gonna be a legend. 
you know, going to be marked down in history, you know. So I'm going to end right now. And, and, and forevermore, you know, these fights are getting easy, you know. But these type of fights coming with somebody undefeated, heart, heart, determination is all that goes into a person. Did he ever hurt you to the point, back to the fight, where you thought you may, you may take a trip to the canvas? No, it, the, the, the whole momentum with, with me is that we come with a game plan. I stuck out, I put my head out there, I didn't stick to the game plan, I got caught with some shots. To be a great fighter, you have to redeem yourself and come, come forward and still know what you have to do and keep your, keep your mind focused when you're in the ring. So that's what it is, man, and I just, I'm just very happy. I thank God for this opportunity. I thank HBO, I thank SMS, 50 Cent Promotion, you know. Ian Wolf, Curtis Mee. James, I quickly, everyone in the world wants to see this guy fight, the guy you were tonight, the guy you were against Angulo. Who do you want to fight? I'll fight anybody. Ah! Time, I said anybody. We gonna you do know, it with this ice. It's, it's just... Canelo! That's what we want. It doesn't matter to me. To me, to me, to me, it's like... I, 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 I stick to my guns, right? And, and when I stick to my guns, what I mean by that is that I stay humble. I have a great team, as you can tell. Have an awesome team that's going to direct me in the right path and, and, and keep me focused in the right level. So I'm going with my team. When my team say, when my team say, that's where my team goes. You know. So that's what it is. Congratulations again, James. Good to have you back, Jim. All right, Max. Looking back on what we've seen.